In many cities around the world, when aspiring musicians want to get extra exposure and make some money, they go busking. But what is busking? So, according to Google, it's an activity of playing music in the street of another public place for voluntary donation. So simply, you go there, play music for people and hope someone's gonna give you a coin. There are many artists who go and travel many countries and play their music and are able to support their trips by playing. That's quite incredible, knowing that actually you can make your music, see the world and support yourself through that project. So living in such a great city like Amsterdam, that every day is full of tourists, we started wondering, what if we go out there and stand there for one hour playing classical music and see what's the reaction of people would be? How much money we would make? And is it possible to make a steady income out of it? Let's find out. Hello everyone, my name is Mateusz and welcome to Unclassical Musicians. Having a break from YouTube and focusing on finishing our studies together with Michelina, we decided to make a little experiment, enjoy the nice weather playing some classical music for people in the middle of the city. So let's start from the beginning. Not having even a bit of knowledge about busking, we started with a research online to find out what criteria we need to fulfill to playing in the streets of Amsterdam. Do we need to have some permit or license? The last thing that we would want would be to earn some money and later spend it on paying a fine. But fortunately, we found out that the only thing that we have to be aware of is to play not longer than 30 minutes in the same location. Knowing that, the next part was for us to find some music. So I searched my library and I found some duets. Actually, they are written for flute by Telemann. So I thought it's gonna be perfect for that occasion. After a bit of preparation, we moved to the city. Our first stop was the Rijksmuseum, the most popular place to bask in Amsterdam. It is because of the tunnel in the building that gives a very boomy acoustic, so the instrument sounds better than in the open air. But when we got there, there was already a huge line of musicians who wanted to perform. So we decided to move a bit and try it outside of the tunnel, closer to the museum square. All the best spots are already taken. We're gonna have to play here. In the beginning we didn't really know what to expect, but to our surprise, a lot of people were stopping by and listening to our playing. Some of them even engaged with us in a little talk and the general vibe of the whole situation was really positive and super chill. Normally on the saxophones, uh, the lowest B flat yeah. mm -hmm. is always a bit too, too sharp, so we always put this down. I can't even hit it. Yeah. hour we decide to be a good citizens and stick to the rule that we shouldn't play longer than half an hour in the same location. So we decide to try in the Wonderpark. I knew a nice bridge there where the acoustic would be a bit better than in the place before. Yeah, the taste of hot work. After a small walk we arrived to our new location prepared our instruments and started to play. This bridge had a great acoustic, but it wasn't a very popular place for basking, and after 10 minutes we realized why. Many
many people there were only traveling through the park and general interest was much smaller than in front of the Rijksmuseum. Nevertheless, we had few people who stopped for a moment and enjoyed our performance. So after finishing the half an hour of playing, the time came to count our money. Okay guys, big moment. We're gonna start counting Let's see how we did. the money that we earned today. What is that? <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> we have some Alaska Alaskan coin. dollars. Okay. This is dollar. Yeah, a quarter of a dollar. A quarter of the dollar, okay. United States. And this? <laughs> what is this? Two pence. Now we have English money as well. Whoa. Okay. Okay, five cents. Five cents. Well, let's start maybe with the biggest one. Two oh, euros. Two. Four euros. Six euros. Eight euros. 10 euros, now we wow. have one meal. That's enough for ice cream. Okay. Okay, uh, 12 euros. 14, uh, 15, 13. <laughs> Very good, Miss. <laughs> 14. 14.50. Right, I'm gonna make it easier. Yeah, so we have 15 euros now. 15 euros. 15 euros, 50. Euros, 76, 76 cents. cents. And what is this last one? Oh, it's Australian dollar. Is it? No, it's more English pounds. Five pence. Wow. Okay, 15 euro and 76 cents. That's not a lot, keeping in mind that we would have to split it in two. Nevertheless, there are many musicians who do it on a daily basis. And like in everything, consistency is a key. You will never know how much money you can make because it all comes down to the weather, how many people are gonna see you, how generous they are, and actually, if they like it. Maybe that's even the most important. Oh, Paskin, we are 15 euros and 76 cents richer. So we decided not to go for ice cream, but it's there for beers, because it's such a nice day. Why not? What was your experience playing on the street? Okay. Yeah, like, I was a friend. <laughs> it was fun, right? I think it's always fun to put classical music on the street where you know most people don't really hear classical music at, outside of the concert hall or recital halls. So I think that's quite nice. Mm -hmm. And what uh, what do you think about our program? I think we need more of a tour. <laughs> so maybe not more, but at least put more thought into it than with it. I would like to really encourage you to do it, not even for money, but for fun. For us it was a very positive experience and we enjoyed a lot. If you would like to find out more, check out the video from Adam Neely where he shares his experience about basking. A lot of good information on that topic. We are still very fresh to YouTube, so if you have any suggestion for the channel, feel free to share it in the comments. That's it for today and see you the next time.